I'm a private hire driver, and I work for a well-known company that they've lost in Supreme Court last year regarding their um, backdated holiday. Yes. How, how and, do you uh, name a company without naming a company, Carwin? Should I name it? No, please uh, well, don't. Carry on. Uh, Carry on. Private hire. Yep. Um, and they lost it in Supreme Court, and we were offered compensation. So um, we offer like, we got 1,800 direct from them, but we, they made us to um, sign a legal document that we that we don't, we don't going to take further legal action against them. Mm-hmm. So my friends, they gone with a solicitor. We've joined them together. We've joined 2013. But he got almost £30,000 after solicitor fee. He got 25 person. He got almost thirty grand. Okay, so is your question for me, how can I get out of the contract I signed? Yeah. Okay. Now, when you signed the contract accepting £1,800, did you have advice from ACAS? And was it uh, in a compromise agreement? Exactly. But but we were misled. We were told that they can go back a maximum up to two years by law. They can't go further. That but that is correct. Who went with a the solicitor? They backdated the the day they started. So my friend, the day started was 2013. They go all the way till 2021, 22. So they proved them wrong. Okay, the law has actually developed on this. A couple of years ago, it was thought that you couldn't go back more than two years, but some uh, European case law. Um, a, ca- a case called King decided more recently that you can go back further. So the advice you were given at the time might not have been incorrect at the time, Carwin. So it's it's slightly tricky. But the, the, the fundamental difficulty is that once you've signed a compromise agreement brokered through ACAS, it's binding and you can't get out of it unless you were uh, seriously misled by the other side about the facts giving rise to your claim. Now, the fact that the law, even if it might have been thought to be right at the time, was actually wrong, isn't something that you can use to get out of the agreement you signed, I'm afraid, Carwin. Uh, it's, it's, it's very, very hard on you. I know that you have my sympathy, but there's not really anything you can do about this. What I would do, just if you want to investigate every um, possibility, contact the firm of solicitors that this uh, that, that your friends were dealing with. And I, I know who they are. I'm going to say their name on, on air. It's a firm called Lee Day. They are handling yeah. the mass litigation for this. And uh, we yeah, can... Right. And um, they'll be able to tell you if you have any rights. They'll be able to tell you if you have any rights. But um, I don't think you do, I'm afraid, Carwin. I've tried many of them. They, they are not willing to take the case. Yeah, so that's why. Because you've, you've, you've signed something that is legally binding. 